What's up everybody, this is Tuba Solo coming at you. Do you own a Lunar Solo tent? Do you find it hard to set up? Well stick around because I'm going to help you. What's up everyone, my name is Steve and this channel is all about hiking, backpacking and enjoying the outdoors in Southern California and beyond. If that interests you, consider subscribing. Now let's get to setting up this tent. So the first step here is to just lay out the tent exactly where you want to place it for the night. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the back two corners. So this corner right over here and this corner right over here. You're going to place these two first. One thing that you want to remember is you want to try to follow the lines that flow up to the peak. If you could place the webbing in that fashion, relatively close, you're already about halfway there. Now you want to go ahead and set your trekking pole to 125 centimeters or 49 inches. Just realize that if you have the newer Lunar Solo, you may have to go a little bit higher than that. I personally have found that 49 inches is not long enough and I typically will set my trekking pole to if I'm using the newer Lunar Solo model. This one happens to be the Lunar Solo LE, so this is the old style, where 49 inches still works pretty good. This is also one of the most important parts of the setup. What you want to do is you want to get this line right here, this main ridge line, as far out as possible. What that's going to do is it's going to allow the doors to actually come out and not sag. That's the problem with this setup. If you ever do this setup method, if you don't put this main line out far enough, your doors are going to sag and the pitch is going to look incorrect. One other very important aspect of setting up the Lunar Solo when you do this is you want to leave the door open. What that will do is it will allow you to pull that main line out as far as possible. That way you get a nice pitch. Another very important aspect of the setup is you're not going to place your pull in this webbing loop over here. You're actually going to leave the floor free flowing and that will help with the pitch also. When you've gotten to this point, what you're gonna do, once you've set your trekking pole, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and tug on the tent so it creates a triangle on the back side. This is what your tent is gonna look like at this point. As you can see, there's a triangle on the back side. What you're going to do next is you're going to take the front two corners and set those. Now you should have somewhat of a trapezoid shape. Now you've probably guessed it. The last piece is going to be this back wall. Once you've done all that, the last thing to do is to fix up the doors and reset the center pole. follow these steps, you should get a perfect setup almost every single time. 